Oh, and that's a on the, on the scorecard. That's a really sizable victory. Did it? Did it feel like it was going to be one of those days at halfway or something like that? No, it didn't. Definitely didn't. Um, I think that given the nature of the pitch and the way South Africa bowled, I think we were fighting our plan A game with the bat for quite some time, and that probably emphasised how slow the pitch was. It never allowed you to get away. Um, and I suppose strike the ball like we would do for our plan A. So <clears throat> I think it, you know, one of the areas of our game that we've improved the last two years is the way that we've assessed conditions and, and played a bit more smart cricket and building partnerships and putting a, a total on the board and believing that that's enough. And, and certainly at the halfway stage, we didn't believe that we had enough, but we believed that we had in and around a par or maybe above a par score. Can you can you sum up, as a captain, your reaction to what Ben produced today? He dug in with the bat, he got yeah. a couple of wickets, and then in the middle there was best catch we've seen. Yeah, he's he's had a full day out, and and when he does, it's extremely entertaining, and it's it's great for the game because we see a lot of him in in, in training do stuff like that all the time, and you you just shake your head at it because it doesn't happen every day, um, and today his all round game was was on, and that's great for us the start of a tournament. Uh, it shows that he's right on top of his game. Uh, thrilled by the start that uh, Jofra gave today, the, 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 the pace that he generated, does that, does that give you an edge going forward into the tournament? Um, I think it gives us a, another string to our bow. We certainly have two quicks, two out and out quicks within our squad in him and Mark Wood. Um, but for him to bowl as quick and accurately today on a slow wicket, I think shows that he's in good form. Will? Thank you. Is it, is it a relief to be into the tournament and have got that win? It's a relief to be into the tournament. Um, I've said, you know, we are going to lose games throughout the tournament. If it, was, it happened to be the first one, it, it didn't really matter. Um, it is a relief to, to be off and running. It's great to get a win. And it's even better to produce a performance like that. In, is England trying to approach one day cricket in a completely different way? I mean, does it remind you of your KKR days when you actually you're playing a 20 over match? Are they trying to resemble this? We've been trying to do that for four years. We've been trying to play like this for four years. So it's we're just trying to do things differently that 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 suit us and suit the players that we have. Oh, and uh, the protest got a great start, but just kind of were inconsistent and just couldn't continue when they had good patches. What do you make of them and you know, c can you see them really challenging in this tournament? Um, yeah, I, I, I do see them challenging. I think uh, with regard to their start, I suppose they started well with the ball and the bat. Um, I thought that with the bat, you know, the first 10 overs is probably the best time to bat, given that the wicket continued to slow up, scoring became harder boundaries became harder to find as well so that probably contributed to it um, but I thought I thought we bowled well it's probably one of our better bowling performances Owen were there any concerns yesterday when you saw the pitch and would you like a bit more pace in pitches as the tournament progresses I just want a fair a pitch as possible I don't want any uh, advantage at all I'd like the best cricket wicket possible I don't want it slanted one way or the other um, yeah, we, we want this tournament to be as entertaining as possible. So uh, when it comes to a, to a pitch, I mean, we still scored 300 people. People have seen a lot of runs scored today. Um, and, and people hopefully walk away wanting to come back again to see more. Yes, sir. Uh, do you believe Zofra Archer is the main surprise package of this tournament? Sorry, who? Zofra Archer is the main surprise package of this tournament. Zofra Archer, surprise pick. No, Sri Lanka have about 10 new members, don't they? Don't they? Sri Lanka have picked up a couple of guys that I've, I haven't played against and I've been playing for 10 years. I think they, that, that's the surprise for me. Third rowing on the right. <clears throat> Take a couple more after this. Um, when pundits have been trying to figure out how people can beat England, you know, people were banking on 
the collapses and hoping that that might stick. Are you, are you quite pleased with losing two wickets in, wickets in quick succession that you were able to build and consolidate but still go at 6-0? and over? How pleasing is that? Yeah, it is extremely pleasing. Uh, I'd, I'd probably back us to lose four early and still go at, at, f at least five and over. We bat all the way down. We've been eight for five in Adelaide. We've been 20 for five and still put a reasonable score on the board and fought right till the end and still believed that we could win the game. So, if we lose wickets early, which we inevitably will at some stage, it'll happen. We'll have to deal with that situation. Ali at the front, and then one more. Owen, you say you see catches like that from Ben in training and stuff, but still, when he does produce it out in the middle like that, what, what was your reaction when you're, when you're seeing that ball flying? You're probably thinking four or six, right? I, well, he misjudged at the start. Uh, it was, he ran in, stopped, and then I thought it was way over his head. And then the next sort of leap in that direction. I've only seen a catch like that from somebody like A.B. de Villiers before in a game at Bangalore, an IPL game in Bangalore, similar. And it's just, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's unbelievable. Gentlemen here for the last one. Owen, given um, all the sort of talk coming from the South African camp about, you know, wicket-taking bowling and, and the fast bowling strengths and that, how surprised were you today by firstly Tahir bowling and then also just how much sort of slower balls they used and, and that sort of thing? Um, probably not so much surprised about the slower balls given that the attack that they went with um, and the wicket that we played on. Um, a little bit surprised that Rabada didn't take the new ball uh, and Imran Tahir did but obviously came off with a wicket but didn't see Rabada come in straight away. That, pro that surprised us all. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.